Good morning, it's turned out nice again. Mother, it's uh, Monday the 27th of August 2018 and you're watching coptalk.tv. Alright, how's it going guys? Alright, well I'm back, that's it. I'm just making a video to say I'm back. Alright, that's it. Um, what can I tell you? First of all, it's my birthday on September 13th, alright? So you've got plenty of time to get your cards and presents in now, alright? Um... <clears throat> So this video is going to be nothing to do with Liverpool Football Club, really. I just want to give you a little update because I've had a lot of you messaging me. So you know that I went to England uh, last week. Was it last week? I don't know, about 10 days ago. I can't remember now. And um, because my lad was uh, Robert, Rob, uh, Robbie, whatever you want to call him, um, was having a, a major operation and um, he's had his operation. Uh, he, had it, he had it a week ago today. Uh, and it was it was scheduled for four hours uh, in theatre, uh, but it was actually six hours because they had some complications. He's all right, um, and it was um, you know if you're on Twitter, you know you, you probably kept me company, especially last Monday. I was at the hospital thirteen hours. I'm, I'm not leaving me boy. You know what I mean? They were like, go oh, you know go and get yourself into the city and have a walk around and that. I was like, no, you're all right, thanks. And um, so I was on Twitter uh, over them thirteen hours, and you kept me company. Um, and I do apologise if I bored you senseless at the time. Um, I like a laugh and a joke, as you guys know, and I'm a little bit cheeky. Um, and sometimes I maybe come across in a manner that I'm actually not, you know what I mean? It's banter and stuff, but I was actually very nervous and very emo. And um, it was just, it wasn't very nice, to be honest, guys. Uh, it wasn't very nice at all, especially last Monday. And then um, he, uh, you know, I, I stayed with him as, as long as I was allowed to, really. You know, when visiting was over, I had to go back, catch a train home and um, stuff like that. Uh, and he, he got discharged on Thursday uh, this week. When he came out of theatre, I saw him on the Monday evening. And um, he, he, honestly, guys, he looks like he's been hit by a bus full on, a double, a double decker bus or something, or a train. He, he's, he's not in a very good way. He had um, major surgery on his jaw because to correct his uh, bite alignment, which basically involved breaking his jaw. And um, honestly, it looks like he's gone ten rounds with Mike Tyson. And his eyes are all, one of his eyes is fully sealed up now, and his bruise looks like he's being blacked and. Uh, you know, all, 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 all is, 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 it's just terrible. It's just, especially to see your, your, your child like that is, uh, is not very good. Um, and he's had a horrendous time uh, with pain and not sleeping and, and, and things that you don't really want to know about. Um, <clears throat> but it, he's home and he was discharged on Thursday. And um, he was discharged back to his, his house, you know, where he lives with his mum. Um, and and her husband and uh, whatnot. So obviously that's me. You know my job deployment concluded, if that makes sense, because it's not like I can go around and visit. I probably could, but it's not. You know about respect to um, to his mum's you know partner or whatever. It's, he didn't want to see me. His gaff does he? So um, I, you know I never even suggested it. So basically, as soon as I knew that he was uh, going home, I took him home. I went and picked him up. Took him home. Uh, it's about an hour and a bit in the car, you know, he was a poor lad, he slept the old way. Um, I booked my flight and, and came back on Friday. Um, you know, I was out, gone, that was it, you know, job done. Um, and he's, he's currently at home, um, recovering, I think it's going to take about six weeks um, uh, recovery. Lost a lot of blood, um, you know, and he's got problems with his nose and, and you know he's, 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 he's struggling as a lad you know but those of you that are on um, on Twitter that have messaged he's seen your messages I mean everyone that's asked after him I, you know when I was sat next to his hospital bed I was telling him and that so um, yeah that's it guys so let's hope he uh, gets well soon um, in other news um, those of you that follow my channel uh, which you know, a lot of you are like friends to me even though we've never met uh, you also know about Jake, my son-in-law, uh, who was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, he's in his late 20s, I think, 20s. I don't know how old he is, but he's a young lad. Uh, and he had stage 4 cancer. And um, you remember he had, he'd been for tests and things, and he, was, he hadn't beaten it. Well, he went for his tests last the Friday, not the Friday, just gone, the Friday before. And um, they cancelled his appointment. You know, he was like, oh, we'll give you your results today. And they cancelled it and pushed him out a week till this Friday that's just gone. 
So the day after Rob comes out of hospital, we then got the, you know, how's Jake going to be sort of thing. And it's good news. Uh, he is now what's considered to be in remission. There is no sign of any cancer in his body. Um, he has to uh, have checks, like checkups, every three months for many years. You know, before they can turn around and say you're in the clear. Um, so he's he's not in the clear, but he's got no cancer in him. So that's highly, you know, that's successful. Surely, you know, I'm not an expert. Um, <clears throat> it could have been a lot worse, and. I just want to share this with you because, like I say, a lot of you have followed my channel for years and you like family and friends and these are things that have been going on behind the scenes and sometimes I don't make videos because of certain reasons and people are like, why are you making videos? You know, and it's like, I try to keep you um, updated, you know, I try to be transparent with, uh, with what's going on. So, Rob's home, uh, Rob is recovering, um, Jake got the all clear if you like we would call it all clear maybe but the doctors don't really say that you know they don't call it that they just say you're in remission there's no cancer in your body uh, and we'll keep checking you every three months now obviously the last time he was checked there still had you know stuff came up on the scan do you know what i mean guys so and a lot of you have left some very nice messages for both of them um on especially jake on youtube on here because i the Rob thing only came up a week ago, but a lot of you do ask after um, after Jake on here, so that's why I'm doing a video for you to tell you how he got on. Uh, and obviously, I've seen you know in my recent videos over the last not last week because I wasn't here, but the previous week where I was saying to you I'm going to England, blah blah blah. Um, you uh, you were you know wishing him well, and I really appreciate that as his dad. You know what I mean? And um, you're really nice people, and I really wish I could do more for you you know for you for supporting me and my family and that you know what I mean <laughs> that's even sound like I'm speaking English Rob can't speak at all I mean he's like he's got to learn to talk again and everything he's he, he's he sends me a picture of himself every day uh, a couple of times a day and he's just okay. anyway um so that's about it so while I've been um, in England um I spent I don't know, I spent some nights in, in, in York where he had the operation. Um, stayed in a decent pub there, hotel sort of place, really nice. Went to the cinema with Rob the night before he went in. Um, so it was a bit nice, you know, dad and son time and that. And then I, I spent a night there on my own. Um, and then went backwards and forwards from Scarborough, you know, the, my hometown and with my family and, and, and stuff like that. and didn't really get a chance to, to do much or see people because I was at the hospital all day I literally got up got the train uh, Uber I used Uber for the first time in York which I thought was fantastic fantastic uh, um, which uh, a couple of pound cheaper each cab and really nice people I didn't get raped or touched up guys you know what I'm saying I really liked that service worked for me uh, and basically I, I left on the, the 6am train on, on Friday uh, to, for my flight back and in all honesty this is the first time now that I've seen my computer since I've been back I've been busy all weekend um, I'm knackered uh, it's, it's I don't know if you're not a parent you maybe won't understand but at the time you don't realize it when it's all finished it's you're coming down from it all you know it's not so much the traveling it's just the 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 worry you know He'll be out of surgery, you know, out of theatre around three o'clock, two, two o'clock, three o'clock, and when it's five o'clock and he's still not back, and you're asking people questions and they're saying, we don't know what's going on. It's fucking, you know, and especially you guys that know what happened with my mum. My mum went in for routine surgery for a week, spent eight months in hospital and fucking died. So you can imagine what it was like for me with that. You know, total worry, and it brought all that back about my mum, you know, because you see all, you see certain things in hospital corridors and on the wards that they remind you, you know, it's, it's, it, listen guys, it was a fucking shit week, honestly, it really was. But Jake's, Jake got good news, Rob's home, and we've now got to go again, all right? Now then, I didn't see the Liverpool game this weekend, it was not possible for me to do that. Um, so I would appreciate any, um, you know, feedback that you want to give me on the game. I don't know if you actually many people will watch this video because it's not really about Liverpool. Um, I would appreciate some feedback on the game. Maybe I should. Um, I will do another video now, actually, for that. So don't comment on this video about the game. I'm going to do one just for that now. Um, 
after this all right so this is what i'm going to do i'm uploading this for you just to give you the update to say i'm back and what's happened with them too i'm going to do a video while this is uploading which will ask you for comments on the game because i need your help with it i've i've got you know, on twitter and a lot of people told me that it worked a great performance and stuff so don't comment on this video about the game use the next video and then later today um i will try and churn out okay it's warm in here guys turn the air con off you see turn the air con off so you don't hear it uh later today i'll make some proper content does that make sense all right and i'll and i'll be here through the week for you as normal now so this is my, my hey i'm fucking back video the next one will be i want your thoughts on the the liverpool game at the weekend the day before the liverpool game i didn't even know who we were playing that's where my mind was you know in the run-up to the game sorry uh with what's been going on i just like no idea um so yeah there'll be a video for that that you can talk to me about in a few moments very brief video and um and then later in the day today i will get some um try and get some content out for you all right um and tomorrow morning it'll be back to normal all right and i'm starting at seven tomorrow morning which is six uk time so uh, that should give me a, an opportunity to um, to update everything and, and get back into uh, get back into things um it was an expensive week in england so would you please make sure you join the members website or subscribe to dkb.tv today all right to support me and the uh, the links in the video description below also you can buy me a coffee now yes and i tell you what so many people bought me a coffee people like vp vp 1975 he's on twitter he always he bought me he's bought me fucking dozens honestly loads of the lads have uh, there's a link in the video description below and when i was in um, in England in the hospital for 13 hours that day all I did was sit in a Costa coffee nearly all day buying fucking coffees so he actually he actually really really helped out you know so ah, some fucking good people watch my videos you really do all right guys so um all that blurb and uh, the way you can support my channel is in the uh, the video description below I'm going to record a quick video now about the game at the weekend and then I'll continue as normal so uh, that's it just wanted to explain I'm back and I just wanted to thank you for your understanding uh, while I was away last week. All right, guys, uh, I'll speak to you soon.